Can a non-Muslim use the kalima of Allah? Non-Muslims have been using the kalima of Allah. The, uh, especially the Ahl al-Kitab, the people of the book, the, if you look at the uh, Jews and the Christians especially, they are using, they have been using the kalima of Allah. Allah is also known, the word Allah is also known among the mushriks living in the Jahiliya times. Because Allah, the word Allah, did not come 1400 years ago. Allah did not come 1400 years ago. Allah, inna dina indallahu l-islam. The religion which is accepted and within Allah, it is Islam. And when Allah sends whatever prophets, Allah uses that word too, and their prophets use. Later, it may have been changed according to different things. doesn't matter. But the word Allah has always been used. The mushriks, in the time of the Prophet ﷺ, they also believe in Allah. But they don't understand Allah. They use the word Allah, but they don't understand Allah. Because Allah, in that word, there is Allah. There is no female. There is only one. There is no two. That's why we cannot even use the word God. To substitute it. Because God is goddess, demi, God, semi, God, all sorts of things you can. The word itself is German, isn't it? It's not coming from a heavenly uh, language. <laughs> so many people are going to get upset with me now. God, isn't it? But Allah, it is different. Now, the mushriks use the word Allah, but their understanding is completely different. They have a wrong understanding. They don't have an understanding of Allah. They have Allah and they put another Allah. Astaghfirullah. Huh? And they say, Allah, we need also other ones to worship other than Allah. So, the problem is, it's not in the word. It's not in the kalima of Allah and who uses it. It's what do you mean when you use it? How do you use it? And why you use it? So, the Christians in the Middle East who are speaking Arabic, even in the language of Isa salam, which is Aramaic, very close to Arabic, like mixed between Arabic and Hebrew, He's saying Allah, 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 Eloi, Ilah, eh? same. It's used. But the way that Christians and the Jews, they use, it is different. They may refer to the same Allah, but their understanding is different. If we're living in the West now, Okay, and uh, you don't like to use the word God and you say Allah to your non-Muslim friends and your non-Muslim friends, they say, okay, they have a wrong understanding of Allah too, isn't it? They say Allah. What is this Allah? Does he, does he, what does it look like, Allah? Okay, now they understand Allah wrong too. They think Allah is another creator. We say to them, Allah is the same creator as you and me, the creator of everything, the creator of the prophets, the creator of angels and everything, and his name is also Allah. Say, no, man, that's God. Huh? It's wrong. So now, the understanding is wrong, the usage it is wrong. But if you manage to say to them, it's the same. Say, oh, it's very nice, it's very beautiful. See, even the Christians, you're using it for Allah. Even the Jews are using it. Yes, they were. But they can say it only one time a year. Allah. Now, if the non-Muslim is using the word Allah, and he is using it to communicate with us sincerely, and he's trying to bridge a gap, he's trying to make a bridge between us and them, 
Huh? If they say Allah, they will say it's okay. But if they are using it now to make a confusion, and I know specifically in some different countries also, they are banning people from using that because they say your religion, it is not Islam. And Islam, it is specifically divided into racial lines, into different races, different communities. We're using the word Allah, and you use the word God, or you use the word, whatever the word God is in your own native language, you may use that. Because now, if you use the word Allah, a lot of people now are going to get confused. Or, if you use the word Allah, now, some people, they say, we get afraid that our young ones are going to go and they're going to be uh, pulled into a wrong direction, into a different direction, then we say we have no business to say what it is. That country and those alims and those ulamas, they have to decide. For me, it's okay. Because I know I'm not going to get pulled. And person is going to come and say Allah and to use. I say, very good. Say Allah. And now, say Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam. Don't say Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam. Astaghfirullah. We get very shy even speaking the name. But you see, you may also use that. Now you want to say Allah? Say, say Prophet. You say Prophet. You accept Allah, right? Right. Then you accept Prophet because you say Prophet, right? Right. They become a Muslim. Without knowing it, you already made dawah. They've already given the shahadat. You will get the blessings that time. So Muslims must be intelligent. Now, if you're living in a society, in a country, I'm not going to interfere. The government, they may know what to do. May, they may not know what to do. But you must know what your faith is. You must teach your children. You must teach yourself. And you must not be, uh, what do you call it? You must not be, uh, influenced if there are certain concepts that they're using the word Allah but differently then you say please why don't you use another word it fits better to you because it doesn't make any sense to me for example if they say Allah son then we say don't okay better for you to use the word God okay say the father the son and the Holy Ghost if you say the Father, Allah, and this, and this, and this, then it gets kind of weird. You say, let the Christians in the Arab lands, they use it. Uh, then you, you are not Christians living in Arab lands. You have different words, and you know perfectly what it is, and what is your intention. So, those things need to be taken into consideration also. Because now we're looking at how to live in a different community. How to live in different with different communities, different religious communities, mm, different people, and how to keep the balance.